Welcome to Palomino, a little surf town located at the Caribbean coast of Colombia. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Excuse my very sweaty look, but it is very hot and we just spent two hours in a bus that was also pretty hot. But we've just arrived to a town called Palomino. Before heading to our hostel, we've decided to eat something because yeah, I'm feeling very, very hungry. So we came to this like Arabic restaurant and we ordered some shawarma. So let's hope it's good. And um, yeah, the plan is to stay here for the next, I think three nights. What we've seen from Palomino so far, it seems pretty cool. It has a bit of a hippie vibe. It seems like there's a lot of nice looking restaurants and stuff and cute little houses and yeah. Excited to spend the next couple of days here. But first, some food. Mmm, really nice. have checked into our accommodation and we got such a nice room so the hostel or yeah this is a hostel but we got a private room we are right by the beach like look like the beach is right here and this place is a private beach that only the guests can use apparently there's also a nice pool area that we're gonna go and check out soon and the room looks so nice and we have air conditioning which is really nice and yeah especially the view of this room is just amazing We are now by the pool, it's nicely surrounded by greenery, palm trees and stuff. We can hear parrots from here. Looks so nice. We've come to paradise. Life is good. now come to the beach and the water is not cold at all and it's absolutely stunning here the only thing is that the waves are quite strong oh. <laughs> Ow. some photos and yeah I'm not sure if there's gonna be much of a sunset tonight though because it's a bit cloudy I'm loving this place already very very much definitely recommend We're now looking for some nice place where to go and eat and it looks so cute in this town like the whole place has pretty much been lit up with fairy lights and stuff like look how cute it looks it's so nice
dinner, the fish I had was good, but it wasn't a very big portion because it was like 80% bone. We stumbled upon a bakery on our way home and look at this cinnamon roll. It's huge! And it only costed 5,000 pesos. Super cheap. And they warmed it up too, which smells really good. Mm. It's like quite airy and really flaky. Super good. Good morning. It's so nice waking up because the only thing you can hear is the sound of the waves. Can you hear it? So nice. Breakfast is also included in our stay, so let's go and start the day by having some breakfast. So what we have seen at this town of Palomino seems to be full of really cute looking shops. So we thought we'd go and check them out a little bit. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Today we're going to do what is probably like one of the most popular activities to do here in Palomino, which is tubing. I've done tubing once before in my life in Laos, but that was not such a pleasant experience because someone ended up spiking my drink, but that's a story for another time. We're about to be picked up in about 25 minutes and we have a bit of a group going. I think we're six people in total. So yeah, looking forward to it. Let's hope it will be nice and relaxing and let's hope we won't burn too badly. We've tried to put like a million layers of sunscreen. So let's hope that's enough. Our tubing adventure started with us being picked up with some scooters and let me tell you guys, it was one hell of a ride. The driver I had was absolutely loco and drove so fast through the bumpiest little path while I was holding on to the scooter with only one hand because I had to use my other hand to hold on to my tube that we picked up on the way. I wasn't able to film much of it though because to be honest, for the most part of the ride, I was holding on to my dear life. After this crazy scooter ride, we got dropped off in the middle of the jungle and had to do a bit of a hike to get to the starting point. Finally we arrived and the more relaxing part could begin, or so we thought at least. Everyone say hello. When we went tubing, the water was quite shallow and our guide had to partially drag us forward. We also had to constantly clench our butts so that we wouldn't hit the rocks on the bottom. And there was a few quite fun but also chaotic moments. <laughs> <laughs> I 
At one point, this random dog started following us and was crying after us, so we figured this dog must want to join us. Our tour guide, however, was absolutely baffled and said he had never seen anything like this happen before. All in all, I think it was very much fun to go tubing and it's definitely an experience that I won't forget. Well, the tubing was really fun. I'm sorry for the background music, there's a party going on. But um, the tubing was really fun. I definitely think it's an activity you want to do in a group, if possible. I think that made it even more fun. We've now come back and I've freshened up. I'm taking a shower and soon we're going out for some dinner. We're gonna go to this restaurant that got recommended to me. It's supposed to be really nice with live music and stuff. And we'll be going with the same people that we went tubing with. And then also, I think this guy that we met in Salento some weeks ago will also join us so yeah I'm looking forward to it and I'm so hungry can't wait to eat something So otherwise this hostel has been great, I love our room, I love the view, I love the location, staff is friendly, like everything's really nice. But the only quite big of a downside is that a few times a week they have a big party here and last night was one of those nights when they had the party. They've also had like music playing the other nights that then ends at like 11 or something and I thought the party meant that it's gonna be similar but just go on for a longer time but no I have honestly never experienced anything like that they were playing this crazy like techno music with a su super strong like bass bass what is it called I'm not sure but you know when it goes like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was so loud we had earplugs and stuff but yeah the earplugs were just a joke because our whole room was shaking our bed was shaking I felt like we were inside of some kind of boombox or something They went on until 4 a.m. So yeah, last night we barely slept. If coming to Palomino and thinking about this place, maybe try and check which days they have the party. Or maybe if you're someone who likes a party, this is the perfect place. I honestly thought I was about to go insane. It was awful. On to a completely other topic. Yesterday I went to one of the shops that I visited in the daytime after dinner, as there was a skirt that I had sewn that I thought was super cute. And I decided to buy it. It's like a black and white maxi skirt with this like floral leaf pattern and it's a really nice material it feels like almost silky and uh, it's like a long one that you then like tie around yourself not this high up but uh, yeah i think it looks really cute i'm sure you'll see me wearing it in future vlogs and this costed me seventy thousand pesos and i've actually been looking for a skirt like this already it was a perfect find i'm really happy with it we're soon about to check out from this hostel i really liked palomino it's for sure quite touristic but i didn't necessarily mind that it feels really like you're on a holiday when you're here and it's a very relaxed atmosphere and 
you kind of get to know a lot of people because it's such a small place and the tubing was really nice yesterday and the restaurants here are good and I think there's a lot of nice hostels. The beach is nice, the waves are quite rough though if you're ever in Colombia. I do recommend coming to Palomino but um, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here as today we are heading to Tairona National Park so that'll be the next video. If you want to see it, remember to join the journey and subscribe to my channel. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have anything nice to say or anything on your mind. Comments always brighten up my day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!